Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him managed to instill the spirit of jihad in the hearts of the Muslims once again. They had been filled with fear and panic, but they regrouped and launched a united attack on the pagans. Victory was on their side by the permission of Allah and they defeated Hawazin and Thaqif before heading towards Al Ta'if, where they laid siege. I see Malik safe and secure within his walls. We must consider our options. What do you suggest? I suggest we take advantage of the darkness. I have scouted the walls and there are many weak spots. To the southeast, the land is tortuous and the archers are spread out. If we bring ropes and hooks, we can climb the wall easily under the cover of darkness. I was with the messenger of Allah when he heard what you were thinking. So he said, do not climb the wall. The archers of Thaqif never miss their mark, and he does not want any bloodshed for men and horses alike. We are at the command of the Messenger of Allah, Aba al-Fadl. He knows better than us what to do. And Salman al-Farisi had another plan that they acted upon, which is throwing stones at the wall using catapults, so that the wall would be destroyed and they could enter al taif But after a few days, they lifted the siege and left. Malik Salaf Awf was among those who joined the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, declaring his Islam. Khalid Salaf al-Walid continued to fight alongside the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in his difficult and easy battles and expeditions. After the Battle of Tabuk, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ordered Khalid to go to Yemen and call all the villages and cities on his way to Islam. If they obeyed and accepted Islam or paid the jizya, they would be safe, otherwise they would be fought. واصبر وما صبرك إلا بالله ولا تحزن عليهم ولا تك في ضيق مما يمكرون إن الله مع الذين اتقوا والذين هم محسنون what news do you have, O Yazid? My men tell me that Khalid, son of Walid, has entered the city accompanied by a significant number of soldiers. He has set up camp on the outskirts of Najran. And did your men make sure that he is Khalid? He is their leader. Go with a delegation of tribal elders to welcome him. Give him a warm welcome. Commander, how will you go to them alone? I am not alone, Arfata. Allah is with me. But sir, this is an unfamiliar place and we don't know this people. What if they betray you? If I go alone and they answer, I am sure they did not answer out of fear. But if you come with me, how do I know they answered out of fear? No, Arfata, I will go alone. Khalid, son of Al-Walid, welcome to Najran. And welcome to you. I have come to you from the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad son of Abdullah. I invite you to Islam, the religion of Allah, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, with no partner. What do you say? The real opinions are the ones of elites, not the public. The head leads the body. So why don't you go to the head, O preacher? Who is your head? al Husayn, son of Yazid, son of Canaan. Go to him and you will find what you want. Come with us, O commander. Khalid, son of Al-Walid, you are welcome and honored. You are a gracious guest and a gracious brother. Not before I hear your answer, O Hussein. So tell us about your religion. It is Islam, as you know. The religion of mercy and love. The religion of affection and tolerance. The religion of the one and only Allah. And I invite you to it, O Hussein. And I invite all of you. O people of Al-Harith, son of Ka'b, and know that the Arab tribes are converging to the Messenger of Allah and declaring their loyalty and obedience. If you answer, we will all be brothers in Islam. We have what you have, 
and you have all we have. But if you refuse, there will be nothing between us but the sword. God forbid that there should be a sword between us. We are a tribe from the Arab tribes who believe in Islam, which we believe and accept as our religion in this world and the hereafter. Khalid, son of Al-Walid, I am delighted to meet you, and your reputation has filled the horizons. That is the message. Do not stop until it reaches the Messenger of Allah. At your command, sir. Do not return without his answer, and do not forget to visit my home to reassure my family. At your command, sir. Go in the care and protection of Allah. Come on. And so ended Khalid son of Al Walid's mission in Najran after they converted. And he sent a letter to the Prophet, peace be upon him, informing him of the matter and awaiting his reply. <laughs> وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا Peace be upon you. And peace be upon you, and the mercy of Allah and His blessings. Praise be to Allah for your safety. What is the news of the Messenger of Allah? He sends you his greetings, sir, and this is his letter to you. The Messenger of Allah is pleased with me and praises me. We are all happy with the Messenger of Allah being pleased with you. He also praised you. How painful it is for me to bid you farewell to Yemen, Allah willing. Will your stay there be long? Maybe a month or a year, I do not know. Khalid left to fulfill his mission, for the Messenger of Allah had commanded him to invite villages in Yemen to Islam. O oh people, embrace Islam, the religion of the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad son of Abdullah. He will intercede for you with the Lord of the Worlds on the Day of Judgment. No, and a thousand no. We don't want to change our gods. O oh people, embrace Islam, the religion of the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad son of Abdullah. Tell this to your Muhammad. Abahala son of Kab does not want to return to you. Go. Most of the tribes did not respond to Khala's call, so he sent a message to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, informing him. The order came from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that Khalid son of Al Walid should return and Ali son of Abi Talib would take his place in inviting people to Islam. However, before he could return, news of the Prophet's peace be upon him death shook everyone. When Abu Bakr al Siddiq took the Caliphate, after the Prophet, he sent orders to Khalid to head to Musaylam at the Liar and put an end to his matter. Khalid set out with his army, and when the two armies met, he shouted, O Musaylam, and you, O Nahar, you who memorize the Quran and have knowledge of religion, and all of you people of Hanifa, I invite you to Islam for a second time, so that there will be no war between us. War brings death. We should not fight. But rather we should be brothers and love one another. What do you say about this? You know that I am a prophet like your prophet, so return to your homes. You have your religion and we have ours. O Musaylama, I call you three times to retract from your falsehood and to declare your testimony and return to Islam, the true religion. Our religion is the true religion, so leave us, O Khalid, and know that there is nothing between us but the sword, the sword. وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِنْ مَنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا أَوْ قَالَ أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ وَلَمْ يُوحَ إِلَيْهِ شَيْءٌ وَمَنْ قَالَ سَأُنْزِلُ مِثْلَ مَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهِ وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي غَمَرَاتِ الْمَوْتِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ بَاسِطُوا أَيْدِيهِمْ أَخْرِجُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ الْيَوْمَ تُجْزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْهُونِ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ غَيْرَ الْحَقِّ وَكُنْتُمْ عَنْ آيَاتِهِ تَسْتَكْبِرُونَ Khalid decided to carry out his plan and attack Musaylama with his army until he defeated him. Despite all the difficulties and the loss of many martyrs, 
As soon as Khalid had finished fighting the apostates and the false prophet, he received a letter from the caliphate inviting him to come to Medina. Peace be upon the successor of the Messenger of Allah. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him and his companions. And upon you be peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah. Sit down, Khalid. The successor has summoned me. Do you have any other complaints? No, Khalid. Rather, I have a new mission for you. I am at your service, with the permission of Allah Almighty. By the permission of Allah, the successor of the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, says, Now that we have eliminated apostasy and the whole peninsula has accepted Islam, we must move towards the Arabs of Iraq and Levant. We shall move with the permission of Allah. There are Arabs in Iraq and Levant who are under the rule of Persia and Byzantium. And we must liberate them from the enslavement of foreign rule and all of us will become stronger and the lands of Islam will expand and its glory will increase. By Allah, this is what I was thinking. The successor of the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, says, Al-Musanna, son of Harissa Ashaybani, came to me and said, let me command my tribe who follows me against the Persians and I will suffice you in my land. I allowed him, but I do not want to fight in this way or engage in such skirmishes. Rather, I want to liberate all of Arabian Iraq. This can only be achieved by pushing the Persians back beyond the Jla River. And you know what the Persians are and what their strength is. Yes, I know. Your first goal should be al hira and everything west of the Jla River in the lands of the Arabs who suffer from the oppression of the persons and the tyranny of their rulers. We will liberate them and they will join us in the religion of Islam. Go, Khalid, and prepare your army so that there are no apostates and allow those who want to return to do so. Do not force people to join the army but let them choose. Whoever wants to stay can stay and whoever wants to leave can leave. This is the letter of the successor of the Messenger of Allah. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, appointing you to command over Iraq. Whoever joins you in fighting the Persians will become part of your army and you are the leader and the prince. At his command. The defeat of the Persians is in your hands. Do not return except with victory.